everybody and welcome to this video. This is going to be a drugstore foundation routine and I'm going to be showing you my foundation, highlighting, concealing, um, contouring, and eyebrow routine and every single product that I use is from the drugstore so it's super inexpensive and this is the final look. I didn't show you guys how I did my eyes or anything like that or the blush but I did show you like kind of the base of your makeup and I think that this is a really nice pretty it's not completely full coverage but it's still like really nice coverage this is what I do for like a daily basis kind of when I don't feel like I need a thousand percent coverage um, if you wanted a more fuller coverage drugstore foundation I would recommend the covergirl 3-in-1 stay fabulous foundation I love that foundation I uh, it's my ride or die foundation but I didn't want to do another foundation tutorial with the same foundation that I've been using forever so I wanted to switch it up and give you guys another perspective and a different kind of style of foundation if you're going for a more natural kind of everyday not so much full coverage like flawless foundation but still covers all your perfections even at your skin tone everything like that so if you are interested in how i got this drugstore foundation look then just keep on watching so first we're going to start off with a freshly washed face and this is what my face looks like after i've washed it and moisturized it. it has a little bit of shine left over from the moisturizer so my first step is going to go in with the setting spray and i like to use the nyx matte setting spray just because i do have a little bit more oily skin but there are a ton of different setting sprays from the drugstore just choose one that works best for you then my next step is to go in with a primer and i like to use a pore filling primer especially in my t-zone area just because that's where i find i have the most pores and i like to use the nyx pore filler and that's just my favorite one that i've been using right now but there are a ton of different primers like the baby skin is a really good pore filling primer and just a complete list of different primers from the drugstore so again just use the one that's right for your skin type and go with that so next is a new part of my routine that I just recently started doing onto my eyebrows and that is priming them. I know it sounds kind of weird but I just use this NYX waterproof eyebrow primer before I put anything on my eyebrows and it just helps to lay them down and get them ready for the products and it also helps my eyebrows to stay put throughout the day so I love this stuff. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Primed and Poreless Foundation and I like to start on my cheeks just because that's where I find I need the most coverage just because I have the most acne scarring from when I was younger there and then I'll take whatever's left over to the center of my face and I like to go in with a thin layer of this product just because I'm going to be using cream contour products and powders on top and I don't want it to get cakey so I just use the foundation to kind of even out my skin tone and give me that base layer and then the concealer and contouring later on is going to give me that extra coverage in areas that I need as well so start with a light layer if you're going to be using cream product so it doesn't get super cakey on your skin and I like to use a beauty sponge with this this one is the real techniques one I just find that it helps to sheer out and blend out the foundation really well but again use any tool that works best for you so now for the under eyes and highlighting portion of this concealer I like to use two different ones this first one is the Maybelline fit me concealer and I like to use it in medium it is pretty close to my skin tone so I will be going in with another concealer later on to help with the brightening aspect of it but I'll just do this under my eyes in a triangle shape down the center of my nose on the center of my chin and in the middle of my forehead then for the more brightening concealer I use the Maybelline age rewind concealer and this is in the shade light I find that light looks a lot better for my skin tone than neutral I used to use the neutral one and I just find this one it just works better with my skin tone and the yellow undertones of it so again you can try out different shades and just find out which shade works best for you and gives you the most natural highlight or whatever type of highlight that you're looking for so now I'm going to go in with my cream contouring and I've actually just recently started doing this since I got this product and this is the NYX cream contour palette and I am in the shade medium. They have three different shades from what I saw. It was light, medium and dark and medium it's my skin tone the best and so I just really like this. It's really easy to blend out so I'll just first pack that on with a brush and I just use a little tapered brush I think it was like an add-on from Amazon and then once I have it on my face I'll blend it out with that same sponge that we used our foundation on just to help blend it out really nicely and fade into our foundation well and from here I just keep on going in and adding product and then blending it out until I find it's at the right intensity that I would like it to be for that day 
Then to set both my highlight and my contour, I use this Wet n Wild contour palette and it just has one side is a highlighter and one side is a bronzer and I'll use a highlighter to set the areas that I put that concealer on and then I'll use the bronzing side to highlight the areas that I put that cream contour on and it just helps to set these places and areas so that they last all day as well as give a little bit more color as well. And then I'll also take that powder contour color and just use that to contour my nose. Sometimes I'll use the cream contour and then blend it out with the powder contour. It kind of just depends on the day, but today I was just using the powder contour and a small tapered brush to put the bronzer down and then using that bigger brush to blend it out. And now that my face makeup is done, I'm going to go in with the brows. And I like to use this NYX Micro Brow Pencil and it's very comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil except it's a lot cheaper which I like better just because I find that I do run out of brow pencils very quickly and so this is a very inexpensive version of that and it works just as well so I just take the swooly side and comb through my brows and then I will go ahead and comb in any areas that are kind of sparse and start with the tail end and then work my way up to the front and yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory and just go back and forth between putting the product on and blending it out so it looks as natural as possible. For days when I want a more dramatic brow, I will go in with the pomade and the NYX does offer a brow pomade similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one that works really well. But today I wanted a very natural brow so I just went in with just the pencil. Then I always set it with a powder and this is just the powder side of the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light and I like to use this to soften up my brows as well as lighten them just a little bit. So I'll just put that in through my whole brow and if you see here it does soften up my brow. If you can tell the difference between the left side that has the powder and the right side that doesn't it just looks a little bit softer which I really like. And this is the final look right here with all of the drugstore products, very comparable to the higher end products just for a lot less money. So hopefully you guys liked the video and I will see you in my next one. Have a good day. Bye!